right guys so this is the second ring neck snake i have caught in my life he is a beautiful one this guy is a little smaller than the one that we originally found <laughs> he's a beautiful little guy listen so these guys never bite like they rarely bite and what's cool is if you guys look closely around the head the eyes are actually blue and if you look compared to the other ring neck snake we found the belly is very, very, very um, dull compared to the other one. It's not that bright. So why his eyes are blue is, well, it's telling you something. It's telling you that this guy is about to shed. So um, that's why his colors are so dull, because he's growing out of the skin that he's in right now, and he's shedding his scales. And to find one in shed is really cool, so you can see the different eye pattern that these guys have. And you can also see how um, different the belly looks. I did get musked on by this guy, but that is pretty common with northern ringneck snakes. I didn't get musked on the first time I caught one, but this time I got musked on, which it smells really bad, but not that not that bad anymore. He's a pretty little guy. So um, these snakes um, shed uh, usually during different times of the year. Uh, ringneck snakes, you can find them a lot of times when they're shedding. Um, they are really nice snakes, and these guys mainly prey on small vertebrates such as small earthworms, small salamanders, and these guys have even been known to eat snakes such as king snakes and even other ringneck snakes. And they use um, a venom that is actually a toxin that's in the lima that kind of runs through their rear fangs um, and is injected through those rear fangs. But they, these guys don't have any venom glands, so they just use that saliva and the toxin in that saliva. So honestly, a very beautiful snake. Alright guys, we just got we just got the second ringneck snake of the day. Just some in C2 footage. This guy is not in shed, but still a really beautiful specimen. Oh he is in shed. Pretty cool. That's a nice looking one. Alright guys, here's just some handling footage. It's now nighttime. These guys are nocturnal. These guys are pretty. You guys look. Uh, another one that's in the shed. Pretty. This guy's a little smaller, definitely. He's not shedding that quickly, but a different one. Nocturnal. Different spot than the first one. Still pretty cool find. This one's definitely smaller. Also, there's a little bit diff different markings. Alrighty, guys. So right here, we have the second northern ring neck snake of the day. This one's definitely smaller than the other one. This guy's also in shed. A very beautiful, um, vibrant one. Um, not as vibrant as, well, it's actually kind of a little more vibrant than the other one, I would say. Definitely a little smaller. As you guys can see, if you look closely, he's looking at his tongue. He's like, oh, what is he doing? He's a curious little fella. Very nice species of snake. These guys rarely bite. Like I said in the beginning, they're mildly venomous and they have those rear fangs, so it's not really gonna do much to you. Um, pretty cool little herp. Um, pretty happy about this episode on the um, Northern Ringneck Snake Part Two. Guys, is these ringneck snakes, they have a tail and their tail is kind of like pointy at the end. You guys can see it. And, and the defense mechanism that these guys use is to, they poke you with it. They don't bite, but they poke you with it. It's actually kind of funny, but a very beautiful species. I'm glad we found two today. This guy's definitely a little smaller. I don't know if you guys can notice that, but just from what I'm looking at, he's definitely a little smaller. <laughs> he's so pretty. Such a beautiful little herb today. Honestly, best day. I think I would count as her being for snakes. Super, super nice to me. All he's doing is she's just curling up in my fingers. See him just moving around. Let's go release this guy. Well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode on the Northern Ringneck Snake, part two of the Ringneck Snake. Two Ringneck Snakes found, two Ringneck Snakes caught, and two awesome herps for the day. I'm Brian Trillbabot, signing out. And remember you, always welcome to the wilderness. We'll see you guys next time. So, because this guy was found under a rock, 
this rock to be exact, a little uh, different one. This guy's definitely smaller, but we're gonna put him back. Beautiful snake with this aposomatic coloration. Let's go. Beautiful. Here you go. Third ring neck snake of my life. And he's gonna go back under his rock. There he goes. found two ring neck snakes in one night. Isn't that awesome? Big shout out to O'Hara Herbert 17 and Ryan Flaherty. Their links will be in the description, so make sure to go subscribe to them. I really hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new about the Northern Ring Neck Snake. Make sure to subscribe and be notified on the next video. You don't know, it might be a really cool animal. I'm Brad and Trail Wild Wild, signing up. And remember that you are always welcome to the wilderness.